All right, y'all, I'm back. Same day. I just wanted to break up the videos so certain things didn't get lost. I wanted to put in a zip tie over the LHT cap just to keep it nice and tight. I didn't find that washer, so, I mean, y'all let me know if if going without that little spacer is going to be a problem. I always have the Accord wagon over there. I can take the spacer off. Um, when I move the car, I'll see if I see it. I have all the wheels off on each side and pretty much what I'm doing, I'm going over the car because I'm going to be weather permitting, health permitting and with all this craziness, I'm doing everything on my end to go to World Cup Finals November 7th which is going to be the last day, that's the Sunday, 2021. If anyone wants to come out, and um, it's like a big old family reunion, man. And um, you see a lot of you YouTubers there, a lot of YouTubers. And I mean, you have people from all over the world coming. So what I'm doing is kind of like throwing, you know, while I'm under here, throwing the little LHD thing on there and throwing that part that I showed you in the package um, in the previous video. I'm going to show you that in a minute and also kind of seeing what's the damage from running the car so hard so first thing i want to do is check the brakes and if you guys check my uh video log you'll see that uh i just recently put these brakes on fairly new um and they're not too bad so that's good the axle see it spits a little grease so what i what i've done is I, I bought a needle and i refill it with grease every now and then and i i then i put a little um honda bond over the hole and it's just a a, a a a grease gun needle and i just put a small hole in it because no matter what i try i couldn't see him i couldn't see this i couldn't see a way how to get around um the axle is losing grease and then once the grease is gone then the bearings wear out so the best solution i've found is to re-grease it every time i really push the car and then to seal the hole back up and then what i'll do is i'll get like a sewing needle a really tiny sole needle and i'll put like this is just me i put small holes in it to ease the pressure because when you're going at good speeds the grease gets hot it starts like almost like boiling some and then it'll find escape holes so i give it a escape holes but i put the small holes in it and an angle so it makes the grease kind of difficult to get out that's why you see like little splashes and i can live with that like i said i'll rather every month or two add a little grease to it than have to keep buying axles all the time i i i figure that's the price of maintenance so i didn't show that. there's a lot of stuff i didn't show i didn't show how to do the extended stud which was a month uh because what I get paid on YouTube, what you, what Google AdSense pay me is, I mean, I make that in one dividend payout on my stocks. So I'm just doing this because right now um, I'm not as busy and I, I still like keeping, you know, my editing skills sharp and i like keeping in touch with you guys i really honestly do I, I like the car community but as far as the money is concerned nah. so another thing is when you do the rear disc brake swap make sure you put these little bolts back in put some anti-seize clean up the hole with with wire brush and put some put it back in because it makes the craziest noise when this rotor starts slapping around it, it literally sounds like your car is dragging something so you see i have the blistine shocks here with the eye box springs i was telling you about the whole setup if you go back in my videos you'll find it but it's rear disc in the back acura legend gs or rs front brakes with steel braided lines with some german blue brake fluid uh and let's go over to the package i'm always laughing when i see static young static 
um, trying to open up his packages with one hand and now the tables have turned so I'm I, you know I will learn I'm, I'm doing mines in here uh oh got me a sticker anybody wants a sticker because I don't want it oh yeah for sure for sure um, I'll put this aside for if I meet anybody at import versus domestic so first things first it should be eight of these anybody know what these are i'll show you where these go at let me check now nah, you know i was about to say i'm going to try not to get any grease on it but i think grease add character so i'm going to put this with my other sticker that i want to give to one of my subscriber slash a good friend of mine he always corrects my bad spelling on YouTube. I want to give him this dragon. When I got it, it was like this. And I was like, when somebody gave me, I was like, I was like, what the hell is this? They we're like, oh, you turned it the wrong way. You have to turn it like this. And it's a dragon. And when you, this is the Sunday dragon when you show up at Classic Hondas. So I've already put that aside for him. And I'm going to give this to uh, one of the, I won't even say subscriber, because I don't know if you're, going to, you're a subscriber or not when I meet you. But yeah, I'm going to give this to uh, to anybody that, you know, shows up at Import versus Domestic. Weather permitting, I'll be there. Health permitting, I'll be there. And just whatever else comes. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the car. I'm take this wheel spacer off and these actually fit right in there if so I can get this road to turn some and like I said this was not my idea this was uh, me watching um keep gunning and they were doing a big break upgrade and they were saying how important this is to keep the road. You see how I was just able to adjust the, the rotor on there itself? This takes out all that slop from the rotor itself. So when you go to hit the brake, it doesn't pivot first before it actually starts braking. It like, it takes it so, let's see automatically starts spinning it around so i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side on the other side now please excuse me if it sounds like i'm getting in a fight with the phone so gotta just adjust the road or some and like i said you can see i don't have that in it let me slide it away right and you can see see how it moves back and forth so, trying to get enough room to slide it in pivot it a little bit like so and you should get eight of them and they sit flush in there thank you the Aki and the other uh, guy the other Puerto Rican guy I don't know your name I'm sorry mosquitoes i know y'all don't show this stuff but I don't know. so this axle here is actually working really really good that this is the one that i put the flex seal on no grease comes out so um the other axle which is the short axle it keeps pushing grease every now and then i'm not sure what's going on with it i just tolerate it as you can see i don't drive the car as much i have a trickle charger on there and I had to because I kept my batteries kept dying and I had to buy a new one you can see I still got the tag and stuff on that one so that's slapped on I'm gonna throw the Toyos the Toyos on there R triple eight on there and 
check make sure no bolts are loose because these solid mounts tend to shake everything um you know you start making some adjustments i had to make a gasket to that would eliminate transfer of the vibration and then go to ebay and get the thicker intake manifold gasket that bolts to the head to try to help with the all the vibration that you know having all these solid engine mounts plus the traction bar mount um engine mount in there you know that's the trade-off is the vibration but <clears throat> just tightening up some loose ends oh oh and i almost forgot oh when you go down south and they say dip they mean a damn ditch i i don't think i got this this occurred on the tail of the dragon i think this occurred at this damn gas station i went to and it was a truck and it was it was a truck stop also so i don't think they mind too much but it wore my car out this is brand new and you can see that's from that goddamn ditch i hit you can still see the the tag of the oil pan and i was so happy that it didn't poke a hole in it i was checking for so many leaks but yeah i'm kind of going over the car because it's supposed to hit the traction bar before it hits anything else but the way how it was set up like i said it was like a, a drainage system and they made it into like a v right so as soon as the traction bar cleared the front of the car just dropped in it and I almost got stuck in this goddamn thing man thankfully i hit it and i hit it at a, a decent enough speed where I, by the time i realized what was going on the car started coming out of it but they said a dip that thing was a ditch i mean i was so upset i didn't even video it uh this is the first time i raised the car up to see what was going on but yeah it could have been worse could have been stuck you know i was away from the house but just i guess it was a piece of humble pie so yeah um um i'll i'll show you once i drop the car down on the toyota r triple r we want to go for a little ride later one of these is going to be a spare and these the setup on this is a uh, stagnant except the or triple r triple eight r's are all square stance they're all um they're all the same size but the, when i went down south i had the 195 50 r15 in the rear and i had the big babies 225 50 r15 in the front and that's complemented by a wave track lsd big break upgrade blistering shots yeah dirty as hell the eibach lowering springs and change the control arm in the front and so i could accommodate um so front sway bar and i also have waist, rear sway bar which the rear sway bar made an absolute difference the game changer was that rear sweep bar because it drives itself, it corrects itself. All right, no matter how much I throw it in the corner and I, the tires were squealing, it corrected itself. Before it used to hop and come around on me. Now I don't have to worry about it. I mean, now I'm just absolutely pushing the limits. You have to make sure that these, yep. Oh God, it's already loose, man. See? So I'm talking about you gotta check these and you can see my my bushing right here is not sitting flush uh, I tried everything it won't work so I mean I don't need a video going over the car checking all the bolts I mean you you know you check all your bolts and stuff like that and give you guys a, a little walk around of the car once it's lowered back down but yeah, just doing an overlook, checking everything, making sure there's no oil leak. I'm going to double check those cam cap bolts that I loosened up. And, um, yeah, just tightening up everything and getting ready for World Cup Finals, man. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see old friends and party. 
dollar bets whatever everybody does who drinks drinks who smokes smoke and have a good time that's all i care about first time i'm going to be bringing my son and i'm excited about that because i want to share the experience with him don't forget to like share subscribe man one love stay up stay blessed stay strong stay strong this lhd thing i like it i like it a lot